So here is a, a New Balance 2002R Mule. This is in the grey colourway. This is kind of more up my street, I suppose, in terms of the colourway itself. And uh, the other pair I kind of had a look at was the one with like kind of pony hair on the uh, mesh panels, but which wasn't that nice. And uh, the colourway itself was nice because it was like a plain white grey colour. But this one's kind of more, I suppose, classic New Balance really with the grey tones all over it. And then you've got kind of the sort of tealish blue turquoise hits on the mesh and around the, the end logo. These are sort of good for summertime because obviously being a mule and are obviously again very comfortable for being a New Balance pair. And the sizing as well, you can pre pretty much go, I think the same sort of size you normally wear in trainers and probably even half size up because just to kind of get your foot into this bit a bit easier, I guess. So it's got the standard sort of energy midsole on here as well and then sort of the absorb cushioning which is uh, really nice especially here like this feels really nice on foot and then the kind of insole feels nice and sort of soft as well so it's just a, an easy sort of nice to wear kind of pair really and casually walking out and about and using as a sort of recovery type slide and the materials on here are new buck and it feels really soft to the touch and it feels quite nice and Soft, not as uh, soft as uh, other New Balance trainers I've seen, but uh, still the material is pre pretty good. It's kind of uh, good quality. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it's good quality. So yeah, all in all, pretty cool. Just a bit of a Marmite mule. So here's the details for the New Balance 2002R Mule uh, Marblehead Trooper. It comes in a marble head and trooper colorway. I think the marble head is the gray color and I think the trooper is the kind of more purpley color that's on the mesh. And this basically has a absorb uh, midsole. So that basically protects you in terms of uh, impact protection and cushioning and also uh, for any kind of compression. So good for walking. So you get that kind of cushioning when you kind of basically move from your uh, heel to your toe and land back on your heel. So it has a stability web in the middle of the outsole. And uh, they have something which is called uh, energy cushioning. So that basically is in the midsole and sort of provides again the shock absorption. And basically it's made up of mainly sort of suede and mesh upper materials. And the price is £119. So in terms of uh, the comfort and sizing, it has a soft to medium sole, much like a 1906R or, or a regular 2002R. It's the same sort of thing really. So you do get a lot of comfort and basically nice sort of plush cushioning and it's just really sort of kind to your foot and it won't say it feels like you're walking on nothing but it does sort of feel like uh, you're work walking on I guess uh, a really soft pillow <laughs> and it has a uh, really good arch support and heel support in my opinion so because your heel sits slightly elevated but not too much uh, because of the uh, midsole cushioning and basically the arch is uh, really comfortable as well in this one and I would recommend going up half size anyway in these because of the fact that it's more of a mule so you kind of get your foot in there. Uh, I would kind of be sort of wary of uh, how this sort of fits and especially if you're wearing sort of thicker socks. So they also have really good traction as well in my opinion so it's one of the better ones. It's quite slightly on the th sort of thicker side as well and because it's a, a 2k runner it, it feels great in a kind of all kinds of weather really. So in terms of the look and style, so this one is sort of divisive in my opinion because it's like a, a basically they're taking a, a 2002R and just sort of converted it into a mule and uh, some people may like it, some people won't and I think the, the people that do like it are kind of looking for something that's comfortable but also just sort of easy to wear and laceless. And uh, these are good for sort of spring summer time if you just want to sort of throw on something quickly and just basically get out the door or you know go and go out for a, a quick walk that sort of thing so you, you know this this is a good pair to have and uh, because they've got no laces in there you can sort of dress these up sort of casual smart casual and uh, the colorway as well is very sort of neutral and uh, like i said they're laceless so they're kind of a slip-on trainer so in terms of the pros it's a relatively new silhouette so it came out sort of last year uh, or maybe late the year before and also they're comfortable so the same as a, a 2002R or 1906R uh, which I find to be probably the most comfortable sneakers that I have and uh, in terms of the cons I think the cost there's £119 I understand it's based upon a 2002R 
but this is a mule at the end of the day I think it needs to be a lot cheaper and uh, basically the divisive looks so this isn't a trainer mock whatever you want to call it a mule for everyone and uh, it's a certain type of person that will kind of probably go for this but in terms of the the ratings I give the look and style free it's just a, a very kind of standard looking sneaker there's nothing special about it and uh, maybe for some people it's a, it's a no-go the comfort i'm going to give it a four out of five it's just because it's more of the, the mule type rather than kind of locking you in place so that's my only issue with this and um basically it's still very comfortable and the quality i'll give it a four the the materials aren't the greatest it's it's, it's fine it's possible and the pricing i'll give it a three it's priced too high in my opinion but overall i'll give it a rating of three it's a uh, it's it's basically okay i wouldn't say it's amazing 